Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Erica. And in today's video, I'm going to be creating three looks with a new palette in my collection. Yes, I did break my no buy, but in my defense, uh, when I saw Jan and Shawnee use this palette on their channels and saw the looks that they created with it, I was like, hmm, okay, I'm gonna have to get this palette. And this is the Nomad Cosmetics Ghost Town USA palette. And look at how cool the cover is, that holographic awesomeness. Now they did do this with the Haunted Europe palette as well, and I missed out on that palette. But I do have the Royal Europe, so I feel better. Now, initially when I first saw this color story, let me move the little sheet out of here. I thought it was beautiful, but I thought, well, you know, do I kind of already have these shades? Do I need this palette? I mean, I don't need any palette. But like I said, I saw Jan and Shawnee use the palette. I saw the looks that they created, and I saw the color story more, you know, like got to see it up close and personal. Uh, and I thought, you know, I really do think I have to have this palette. And I'm thrilled that I picked it up. I mean, I haven't used it yet, so we'll see. I might change my mind, but I don't think so. I just think this is such a stunning, cool-toned color story. And I love cool-toned shadows. Absolutely love them. And so I just thought it would be really fun to put three looks together with this palette, you know? Um, I could have just done one and then moved on, but I, I don't want to do that. I want to, you know, really experience this palette for you guys. And I'm trying to decide exactly what I want to do today. I'm thinking some browns and then this shade right here, it's kind of a duochrome, looks like, like a pink and brown or something like that. Uh, yeah, that's what I think I'm going to do today is kind of focus on this area of the palette. So I do have my brows done and this eyelid is primed in the P. Louise eyeshadow base in Rumor 01. So I'm just going to get right into this look. So I think I will start off with this shade right here called Bandit Queen and put that in my transition area. And you know, I used to always, well, I haven't gotten all of Nomad Cosmetics palettes. I haven't gotten all of them, but I, I used to just be like on it, like Johnny on the spot when they release the palette. I'm like, I'm getting that right now. And I've toned down uh, with that because I don't know, I think they're all gorgeous. They're all stunning. But, you know, I do try to like, I don't know, be maybe a little bit more calm with my purchases, even though I'm on a no buy right now. <laughs> so really, am I that calm with my purchases? Probably not. Well, obviously not. But I, I don't know. I just felt this strong yearning for this palette deep within my makeup loving soul. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is a nice shade. Very nice. Kind of a, I don't know, medium taupe shade, I would say. Is that, is that a good description of this color, I guess? I, I Is it? And one of the things that I love, I mean, well, there's so many things I love about Nomad palettes, but one of the things I love about their mattes is that they basically just kind of blend themselves, you know? You don't have to spend a lot of time messing around with them. They just apply beautifully and blend beautifully as well. Okay, I like that. I think it looks really good. So now I do want to deepen up the outer V. And I'm trying to decide if I want to use this shade or this one. This is Arrested Decay. I think I am going to go in with Arrested Decay, just like really deepen up that outer corner. And this is kind of like a charcoal gray shade. Hmm. Okay, let's see what happens here. And uh, my husband and I did go and visit Baby, my grandson, uh, last weekend, which was wonderful. And we did stay in a much nicer place than we stayed in the time before. So that was great. It was wonderful. Uh, and they had a really nice pool, outdoor pool at our hotel. And I totally spaced bringing my swimsuit, uh, which just kind of irritates me because you know my husband's like well we, we could go swim and I'm like well I don't have my swimsuit <laughs> I mean you know I could have worn like shorts and a t-shirt or something I guess although I don't really own shorts I would have had to wear my husband's which would have been fine but I don't know we just and actually we really didn't end up having enough time to swim anyway because we were pretty baby focused and it was awesome because my daughter and her husband went out to dinner and so we got to babysit baby on our own and I I mean, I, you know, I love spending time with my daughter and her husband, absolutely, but it is pretty fun to have baby all to ourselves. <laughs> and they have these uh, pear trees in some land, like right next to their house. It's not their yard, but uh, kind of like a mini little pear orchard, I would say. There's probably like, I don't know, 12 trees, maybe 10, 8 to 12, something like that. And uh, we took them outside to just kind of, you know, 
I don't know, just go outside and have some fun. And uh, my husband's like, I wonder if he would eat a pear. I'm like, I don't know, because he's a very picky eater. Very picky eater. His mother was a very picky eater as well. Uh, he's a lot like his mama. And uh, so I said, well, let's try it. So my husband goes and picks a pear for him and hands it to him. You know, obviously cleans it off and makes sure there's no like worms coming out of it. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go back into this shade here, Bandit Queen, just blend that out a little bit. And so anyway, my husband hands him the pear and he just starts chowing down on this pear. He basically ate the whole thing. And then uh, we ended up getting him another one just to see like, oh, does he want more? Because he was acting like he was still hungry. And he basically ate, well, not all of it, but like three quarters of it at least. It was so funny. And so I was texting my daughter while they were at dinner and I said, your son loves pears. And she's like, yay. Cause you know, it's just hard to get him to eat stuff right now. He just, I don't know. And he's not the type of baby that likes to be fed. Like he wants to do it himself. And you know, that's wonderful, but it can pose issues and make a huge mess. I love that, that deepened up very nicely. I might go back in with that just a little bit after I put the shimmers on, but now are the shimmer. I don't know, should I do one, two, I don't know. I, I always wanna ask you guys your opinions, but then that doesn't really work, right? Oh, geez. I'm trying to think what I'm going to do here. I think I'm going to start off with Ghost Train and put that towards the outer part of the lid. And then I think I might pop, I don't know, Quicksilver would look cool with that, I think. Or maybe Tombstone? I, I'm not sure. But let's go ahead and start off with Ghost Train and then we'll see where this takes us. And I've seen that these... Uh, shimmers have kind of like a different formula I think than Nomad has made in the past like it's kind of a newer uh formula like consistency for them uh they're kind of smushy I have some fuzz on my brush and let me grab my spray here I do think I'm going to spray this a little bit so it's exciting to try a ooh hoo 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 try a new formula from Nomad wow that is gorgeous absolutely <laughs> stunning. I could just use this shimmer and that's it. Really. I don't know, man. I might do that, but I, I want to try it. I think I'm going to put the Quicksilver towards the front is what I'm thinking. I thought that would look kind of cool. Oh, yeah. This is so beautiful. Oh, I love it. Love this shade. It's very duochrome -y. It's like, kind of like a, I don't know, almost like a magenta and then like a I don't know, brown, I think. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, and usually my grandson is very cuddly with my husband and not so cuddly with me. I mean, he does cuddle. He, if he's going to take a nap when I'm around, he wants me to hold him and like, you know, get him down for his nap. But the rest of the time, he's pretty much all about grandpa. And on this trip, he was all about Noni. <laughs> I was so happy. He kept coming up and like, hugging me and like we were sitting on the floor playing and he just kind of like leaned back against me and kind of roll around on my like lap <laughs> so cute oh I love it oh I just love it and I, I think too one of the main selling points of this palette is that it has that like earthy grunginess to it that I just love in a palette love it I love that that is so cool so I think I'll just clean this brush off just a hair just a touch or well not just a hair or a touch I want to get the shadow off of it and now, I don't know, man. Should I go into this? Mm, I think, I think I'm going to hold off on using that, actually. I think I'm going to go into Tombstone and just put Tombstone towards the front. I got to be careful with this because it's starting to get a little flaky and a big chunk of the shimmer just kind of fell out of it. <laughs> got to be careful. I do that a lot. I just kind of go all in and I'm like, okay, these are very tender shades, Erica, so... <laughs> Calm down. Okay, so let's put this here. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's gorgeous. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think this is a better choice for this look than the Quicksilver. Although, you know, it could have been just fine. I don't know. Who knows? What I should try to do again is a halo eye and use that Quicksilver shade. That would look cool, I think. Right? I think so. I mean, I'm just not very good at them. But I'm trying. I'm trying to get better at them. I really am. It's supposed to get hot here again. It had like kind of toned down a little bit, you know, like 70s, low 80s. And then uh, my dad and I always text each other in the morning right when I get up. And he texts me, we're going to have hot weather again this week. I'm like, 
dad are you kidding but you know every so often not not every so often most of the time the weathermen here get it very wrong oh i love that combination together that is gorgeous yeah, I love it. I do, though, I think I'm going to go in with Ghost Train with my finger and just kind of smush these two together a little bit better right here. And uh, my nails are in a state. Not a good state, either. They're a mess. i got to get them done again, I think. I don't know. I just kind of wanted to give them a break. And plus, the fake nails start to just, ugh, you know, like they feel weird. I don't know what happens to me, but I'm like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> They're fine for a few weeks, and I'm like, I, that's it. I, I can't do this anymore. And it's funny because some people, like, they need the nails on to, like, be able to function. And I need them not on to be able to function. Like, I could never have really long fingernails. I wish I could because I think they look amazing. Now I'm going to go back into Arrested Decay and just kind of take that edge down from the Ghost Train Shimmer Shade a little bit here. And, you know, I will say, too, that this is, obviously, I would say a more neutral-leaning palette. But it's got some beautiful fun in here, you know, that kind of amps it up a little bit amps it up a lot of it actually yeah i really like this a lot it's beautiful um i do though think i want to maybe pop a little bit of this the undead sheriff around the outside of the bandit queen shade let me grab another brush for that and i'm going to use my bh cosmetics brush for this i love this brush i think this is the brush i've used the most out of all of my brushes in my collection truthfully uh, i want to say that this came in I think an Ipsy back in the day. So I haven't gotten Ipsy for, I don't know, at least a couple of years, I would say. And uh, yeah, I love it. I think it's just, just, just a great brush. It's like a workhorse in my collection. Absolutely. Okay, so I think I'm pretty much done with this look. I do have some fallout down here. So I'm going to go clean this up, other eye, face, hair. I'll be back. This is the finished look, and I love how this look turned out, and I love the eyeshadow palette, and I cannot wait to create the other two looks that'll be in this video. And I'm going to show you the palette again, just talk about the shades I used briefly before I move on to look number two. But let me show you just a few things I put on my face for my finished look. On my lips, I did use a metallic lipstick from Beauty Moon Cosmetics, a UK indie brand that I am madly in love with. I just thought this shade would look really cool with the kind of magenta shift in the Ghost Train shade that I put on my lids today. Uh, you know, I just wanted to kind of like make that stand out more if I could. So yeah, that's my, was my thinking here. Oh, this is such a beautiful lipstick. I love this. So much. And then for my lower water lines, I did use one from Beauty Creations and this is in the shade Razzle Dazzle. Again, wanted to kind of highlight that magenta shift in the Ghost Train shade and also tie this in with my lip color. Just thought that would be a cool combo. And then for my upper lid liner, I did use one from Yankina that I got in some PR from Timu. This is the 3D Waterproof Precision Liquid Eyeliner. And I felt like my eyes were calm, or this eye was calm enough today that I, I think it can stand the eyeliner. And it may not be the eyeliner. I don't know what's going on, but it's on my lids today. And then I I did use a shade out of the Enchantment palette from Beauty Moon Cosmetics as well for my inner corner shade and also as my highlighter. I use this beautiful shade right here. It's kind of like a peachy, goldy, maybe even a little bit of pink in there. I don't know. I just thought it would look cool. And oh, this is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So now let's talk about the Ghost Town USA palette from Nomad Cosmetics. Uh, obviously, this is look number one. There will be two more looks coming. Uh, this shade here, Tombstone and uh, Ghost Train, were the two shimmers I put on my lids today. Love them both. I will say I like this one better. This one just seemed more fun, a little bit more dynamic. Uh, I don't know. I, I like the shift in the color. You know, like it's kind of like a brown and magenta. Beautiful. I did really like this too. Uh, you know, just maybe a little bit more subtle, but sparkly. You know, and I think the two of them together look really nice. Uh, and then the mattes that I used, I used, let's see, Undead Sheriff. Bandit Queen and Arrested Decay. Arrested Decay. I almost said Arrested Dream. I don't know. And I used a combination of all three mats on my lower lash lines as well. And yeah, I mean, the mats worked so well. That pigmented, blendable, amazing formula that Nomad always delivers. So yeah, now that we've gotten look number one out of the way, let's go on to look number two. So look number two with the Ghost Town USA palette from Nomad Cosmetics. Now, in today's look, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do here today because I'm like, I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, I think what I'm, I'm really thinking would look really pretty together are some of these shades and then some of these shades. So I think what I'm going to do is use this shade here called Skinner's Saloon, this one here called Calamity Jane. 
maybe a little bit of Dead Man's Hand, maybe on my lower lash line. And I think what I'm going to do is use Garnet Montana, Copper Penny, and Quicksilver across the lid. I thought that would look pretty. And then in my last look, I'm going to use the greens and stuff. <laughs> so let's get into this shade right here called Skinner's Saloon first. I'm going to put that in my transition area. And I do have my brows done, and this eyelid is primed in the P. Louise eyeshadow base in room 01. And I was editing a video this morning that's going to be up before this video comes up. And it's kind of an emotional video. And I got a little choked up, started shedding a few tears as I was editing. So I'm hoping that my... Uh, this eye will not get all goopy today because that's sometimes that's what happens too. Like if I cry, my this eye will get a little goopy. And oh, I can't stand that. Uh, I do think though that um, it was just kind of a weird thing that was happening that used to happen all the time with my eyes that get goopy, but now it's kind of calmed down again. Knock on wood, I don't know, knock on wood. But I just thought like the grays and like the kind of coppery shades would look really cool together. Like maybe the gray shades would make the coppery shades pop more. I don't know. We'll see, you guys. We'll see. And I lived in a really small town in Wyoming for a year, which no offense to Wyoming. I mean, it's a beautiful state, but that town was not meant for me. It just really was not meant for me. But I will never forget. Uh, I was living there for maybe a week. And uh, my ex and I were going like to Safeway to get groceries and just kind of piecing our life together because we'd moved you know, all the way over there from Oregon. And uh, I remember being at Safeway at the grocery store and looking up like in the manager's little section and seeing a picture of Prince, the singer, uh, in like this big frame. And I was like, huh, okay. And then we went to like, I think it was like the hardware store to get some stuff to put a bookshelf together. And I see the same exact picture of Prince, this, you know, like 11 by 14, big, huge picture of Prince hanging on the wall in there too. I'm like, what's going on here with Prince? Like everybody likes Prince, I guess. Okay. And then we went out to dinner one night and uh, at the restaurant, I look over like, I can't remember, it was just on the wall somewhere another picture of Prince. So finally I asked the waitress, I said, what's the deal with all the pictures of Prince everywhere here? Yeah, I really like this. It's it's a really pretty, kind of got some blue in it, in the gray. It's really nice. So I think what I'll do now is deepen it up with Calamity Jane. Let me grab another brush for that. And the waitress shared with us that in, I think it was some sometime in the 90s, uh, Prince had a contest that uh, I think it was through MTV, I'm pretty sure. And that uh, if you enter this contest, and I can't remember all the rules or details around it, but uh, if you won, he would come to your town and do a concert. And he, this woman that lived in the town, this small town in Wyoming, she won. And so he came and performed, like did a concert at the, I think the Red Lion that was there. And, you know, that was like the biggest excitement that this little town in Wyoming had ever had. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, even though it was, let's see, I moved there in 2000, right? Yeah, 2000. Uh, and I think it happened like in the early 90s. Uh, they were still just like celebrating the fact that Prince had come there. I mean, I, I get it because I loved Prince. Oh, I had posters of him all over my walls uh, in like middle school, high school. Oh, I just thought he was the hottest thing walking. And uh, so, you know, I get it. But I just thought that was so funny. And we noticed that pretty much everywhere we went out in public in that little town, there was a picture of Prince somewhere. So cool. I'm just kind of taking this clear over here into this inner corner part, sort of. And then uh, I'll go back around with that other brush and blend it out. But I'm starting to get a lot more used to my Blend Bunny brushes and I'm really enjoying them. So that that's good. Because at first I was like, I don't know that I like these brushes and everyone else does, what's wrong with me? So I'm gonna take this brush again nothing additional on it. I'm just going to go around and get rid of that wonky edge if I can. But I would love to know if any of you saw Prince uh, and what your experience was with his concert because I really regret that I never saw Prince in concert because like I said I was a huge fan of his. Uh, but uh, the reason why I brought up the fact that I lived in Wyoming is because there's a lot of kind of like ghosty towns in you know Montana, Wyoming, Colorado area, and I never really went to see any of them. You know, I I could have done that, and I didn't do that. 
We did go to Yellowstone, which Yellowstone, which not a ghost town, but Yellowstone is just gorgeous. So fun. And my daughter was only like, what was she a year? Yeah. A little over a year, I guess when we went to Yellowstone. So she doesn't remember, or almost two, I guess, or no, was she two? I think she'd turned two. doesn't matter, but she doesn't remember any of it, which, you know, kind of feels sad about that, but maybe, you know, maybe she'll take baby and they'll go to Yellowstone at some point. That'd be cool. I love the combination of those two together. Uh, I think I will, though, go into Dead Man's Hand at some point just to maybe deepen that up just a little bit more. But now I think I'll go into this shade here called Garnet Montana. Put that like towards the latter half and then I'll put Copper Penny next to it and then this quick silver shade towards the inner part of the lid. And I learned that I have to be kind of a little bit more gentle with these shades because the last time I last look in the Tombstone shade, I started just going all in and it started getting all flaky and falling on the floor and I'm like, slow down. <laughs> oh, geez. Okay, so let's put this here. Ooh, that's beautiful. Yeah, it's very like, um, kind of like a smoky reddish shade. And you know, I've never really been a huge fan of Western movies. I mean, kinda, some of them I like, but some of them I'm like, the acting's a little subpar. <laughs> and also, I, I just it's just not a genre that I've ever really loved. But my husband and I, I think I mentioned this in another video, we have been watching every so often old John Wayne movies. And they're actually pretty pretty good. I don't know. Some of them are, you know, I'm like, who wrote this? Some of, a lot of his movies are love stories too, which I didn't realize that. So those are kind of nice to see the, the love story uh, movies that he was in. They're kind of corny, but they're kind of cute too. Okay, I like how that looks. I'm just going to keep using this brush because I really like this. This is one of my C color brushes that came in one of my C color palettes. I don't think I have the palette for this anymore, but I might. I don't remember. So now let's go into Copper Penny. And this is gorgeous. This seems very smushy. Ooh, but look how nicely it coated the brush. <gasps> yes. And I also really like uh, Clint Eastwood uh, Westerns too. I think he's, you know, he's got some good, good Westerns. Ooh, yes. Yeah, this is pretty chunky though. Not not chunky, it's just like little flakes are coming off onto my lashes, but I'm just starting to, you know, try to get used to this different formula, I guess. It's taken me a hot minute. Yeah, a little bit of this goes a long way, I guess I would say. Um, you know, just going into the pan softly and getting like a couple of good chunks of it and then it just kind of smushes onto the lid, which is nice. I'm just kind of, you know, smushing these together a little bit here. Yeah, that's really pretty. I like the shift from the darker kind of reddish shade to the copper shade. That's pretty. So should I keep using this shade, brush? Should I fair say? Um, let me see if I can find a little bit of a smaller brush to do the very inner part of the lid. I think I'm gonna use this one here. I like this brush a lot. So now I'm gonna go into Quicksilver here. And it's, this is really smushy. Okay. Yeah, really smushy. It's not the easy, it wasn't the easiest for me to get it on my brush just because uh, it's me. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with the shadow. Okay, so I'm just going to put this right here. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's cool. That's awesome. Okay, I love it. I wasn't too sure if I was going to like this combo, but I do. I like it. It's pretty. It's very nice. Ooh, yeah. I'm just going to kind of feather this over a little bit the top of the copper penny shade just so it looks a little bit more cohesive here. I think, honestly that like copper penny and this quick silver shade probably would be easier for me to put on with my finger, but I've already got it on with the brush. So let's just go with that. And then I might go back into it with my finger. Yeah. And I, you know, of course I have fallout, but who cares? I can clean that off. Yeah. I would absolutely say that this adheres much better to a finger than the brush. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. Okay. Woohoo. But I do feel like it's making my lid look super textured, which that's not my favorite thing, but where's my brush? Where did I put my brush? Oh, there it is. Let me go kind of smooth that out just a little bit right there. Let's go into Dead Man's Hand and just deepen up, really deepen up that outer V. That's what I want to do here. And I will use my Blend Bunny brush, just clean off that uh, Calamity Jane shade and go into this. And I, I like it because it's got like this blueness to it as well. It's gray, but it's got this like pretty kind of like cobalt blue in it as well. That's cool. Okay, so I think I'm pretty much done. I really do like how this look turned out. I just, I don't know. This part of my eyelid looks a little 
textured. So I am gonna go off camera, do my other eye, my face, my hair, and I'll come back. This is the finished look. I really do like how this look turned out. I, I'm just not totally sure how I feel about a couple of the shimmer shades I used in this look. And I'll talk to you guys about that as I show you the palette again before I move on to look number three. But let me show you just a couple things I put on my face for my finished look. For my mascara, I did use the Gifted by Tarte again that Jen from Jen Beauty sent to me. I love this. And then for my upper lid liner, I used this one. This is the Luna liner uh, from Seraphine Botanicals. And I think this came in like a BoxyCharm or an Ipsy and I uh, just wanted to use it today to see if it still works and it works really well. I enjoyed it. And then for my lower water lines, I used the NYX Professional Makeup Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Rust Royale, or maybe it's just Rust 619, uh, I don't know. But I, I hadn't used this in a really long time and it's very metallic and it adheres really well initially to the water lines. I don't know how this is gonna last throughout the day, but we'll see. And then for my lips, I used a combination of two things. I used the ColourPop Lippy Sticks in the shade O oh Behave. I just wanted kind of like a brown base. And I topped it with the Super Lustrous Lipstick from Revlon. This is in the shade 750 Kiss Me Coral. I just thought the combination of the two would kind of mimic the shimmer shades on my lids today, kind of, you know, make it more coppery looking. So, oh, and then for my inner corner shade, I used a shade out of the Enchantment palette from Beauty Moon Cosmetics. I used this silver shade right here. <gasps> I don't have any highlighter on today, but man, that is so beautiful and it adhered really well to my inner corner. So now for the palette, Ghost Town USA from Nomad Cosmetics, of course. And uh, I just, I, I like the newer Mushier formula and then I kind of don't like it. I don't know. This shade right here, I felt like Quicksilver. I felt like it added some unwanted texture to my eyelids, especially this one. Not so much that side, but this side, it's like it's kind of creasy a little bit. I don't know. Uh, but I do think it's a gorgeous shade. I just don't know if the formula jives real well with me. And then these two shades here I thought were really pretty. This one especially. Well, they're both. Both especially. They're beautiful. I, I will say, though, that I felt like I got more payoff and it just applied better by using my finger versus a brush. So, And then uh, the mattes I used, these three, lovely. Very pigmented. They blended well. Yeah, digging it. So without any further ado, let's get on to look number three. So I am back for look number three with the Ghost Town USA palette from Nomad Cosmetics. That is so much fun. Now my brows are done and I did prime this eyelid in a different primer this time around. I picked out the She Glam Ready Set Primer today. And this was pretty cheap, like, I don't know, four or five bucks, I think, off the She Glam website. Because I, I don't know that the P. Louise eyeshadow primer is uh, conducive to the shimmers in here. I will say I'm struggling a little bit with the shimmers. And I, I know, obviously, like I've said, that the shimmer formula is different. My, my first look, I felt like, you know, they 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 worked okay. But I just, I don't know, I kind of felt like they were a little bit softer than what I thought they were going to look like. And then uh, with my second look, the Quicksilver shade really added a lot of texture to my eyelids. And then also throughout the day were pretty damn creasy. And that's not my experience with Nomad Cosmetics. So I thought, well, let's try a different primer today. I've been talking about using a different primer the last few videos because I've had some issues. So uh, yeah, I, I think this is a little bit tackier. I'm hoping, we'll see, I don't know. Uh, but today's look, I'm gonna be focusing on the green shades, like these four, I think. And I also think I'm gonna use this one here called Deadwood in my look as well. Um, Smoky Quartz might make an appearance in this video or this look, I mean, I don't know. This one here, I need to use as well. This is the Ry Rhyolite Nevada. Uh, so I think what I'll do is start off with this shade here called Stagecoach Mary and put that in my transition area. And Andy from Andy Does Stuff, I watched her three looks video this morning as I was trying to wake up. <laughs> and she created three beautiful looks. Ooh, I think I put a little bit too much shadow on the brush here. It kind of like flew off my lid there for a minute. Uh, but she created three beautiful looks. And she was saying some things in her video that I could totally relate to. Like she was having some issues with the shimmers. And also she said that she kind of had a little bit of buyer's remorse throughout the looks because she felt like the looks that she was creating with this palette, she could easily create with other palettes. And I have kind of felt the same way. You know, like I, I love this color story. I think it's gorgeous and it's unique and different. And I don't have necessarily this color story in other palettes 
but I do have these colors in more than one palette. You know what I mean? I could pull them together, I guess. I don't know. But uh, I don't know. The shimmer formula in here is just kind of throwing me for a loop. We'll see. I mean, maybe with this different primer, I'll like it better. Uh, you know, I've mentioned before that I can't really use the NYX glitter glue because it just creases my shimmers like crazy. I only know like three or four other people that feel that way about the NYX glitter primer. Most everybody just loves it, raves about it, but I don't know, man. I just cannot get it to work for me. I don't know. I, I kind of did at first. When I first got it, it was kind of, you know, fine. And then I don't know, it just would make my shimmers look like crap by the end of the day. I was like, yeah, no. So I, I understand what Andy's saying, because I kind of felt like that after my first look. I was like, did I really need to get this palette? Because I like the look, okay? I like both of the looks I've created so far. It's not that I didn't like them, but I, just, I don't know. I'm just not, I'm not sure that this is my favorite Nomad palette I've ever used. However, I've only used it twice. This is obviously my third go around, so I, I don't really want to like doom it yet but we'll, we'll see how the shimmers do today. I think that's a beautiful shade. I, I will say that I love the mattes in here. Love the mattes. So now I want to blend that out a little bit with this shade here called Ghost Town. I'm going to put that around the edge of the Stagecoach Mary shade. So, I mean, of course, if you guys have this palette, I want to know if you have the same experience or if you think like, no, you've lost your mind, Erica. This is the most amazing Nomad palette ever. <laughs> I'd like to know what you think. Uh... And there are times when like I will use a palette a couple times and I'm like, nah. and then like after I keep using it for a while, I end up just loving it. You know what I mean? But usually I have a pretty good feel for a palette the first couple times I use it, kind of. I mean, typically, but then there's exceptions to that. I don't know. Uh, today is Friday and I am so happy that it's Friday because I have not been sleeping the greatest the last couple nights. And I just need some downtime this weekend. We are not going anywhere. We're just going to be home. And my husband has been working his ass off like for the last couple of weeks. Uh, he's learned a new job. He got a promotion. And so, you know, there's a lot. He's just really tired. And so am I. So we're both just like, we're not doing jack squat this weekend if we don't want to, which will be really nice because I really do like to be lazy. I really like how those two blended together. That looks really good. Love it. So now I'm going to go into Deadwood and deepen up the outer corner V area with that. And I have a huge day coming up on Monday. So I definitely want to get uh, some rest over the weekend. Uh, I'm onboarding five new staff members where I work. And uh, onboarding usually goes pretty well, but I will say that at least one thing goes wrong during onboarding, either like getting people into their laptops or uh, we use a system called ADP for payroll uh, that will sometimes go haywire. So the people, the new staff members like can't access their payroll stuff, you know, like their uh, information that they need to enter in to, so that they get paid that sometimes goes a little haywire. Um, one of the clinicians that we onboarded uh, last month, I think it was, right? Uh, we opened up her laptop to get her all into our systems and this weird screen popped up that said we needed some weird key code, which that had never happened before. And I'm like, what? And so we reach out to IT and they just were not responding. And I'm like, okay, we got to get her in here. <laughs> You know, we got to get her into our systems today because, you know, we have a system uh, worked out to where, you know, like we onboard myself and my coworker onboard this person. And then they have to meet with the intake coordinator to get clients scheduled on their schedule. And then they have to meet with like their supervisor, the clinical director, the assessment director, just depending on, you know, which part of the program they're going to work for, either therapy or assessment. And if we don't get that stuff done in a, you know, succinct time frame, uh, it's not good. So it took like, I don't know, quite a while for IT to finally get back to us. And they gave us this information that we needed and it didn't work. So then uh, it was just a madhouse. So I like that shade. I think that's really pretty. But I am going to go back into Stagecoach Mary just a little bit and just blend the edge of that just a little bit better. So I don't know. I, I always am like a nervous wreck before onboarding. Like this whole weekend, I'll probably be, you know, feeling stress and nervousness and anxiety about it. 
But then once we onboard them, it's great. You know, usually it's been really, you know, with these hiccups that can happen. But, you know, they usually are just doing great. Uh, so, yeah. And some of the people that were onboarding did not do all the things that they needed to do in order to, uh, I, I don't how do I word this? Like to see clients and things like that. So that, that's been a little tricky too. A little, little tricky. I'm like, oh boy. But you know, it's all going to work out. Again, knock on wood. I like how that looks. So now I'm trying to decide if I want to use all three of these shimmers or just these two shimmers. Cause I think I pretty much used all the shades in here, uh, except for these four, this one, this one, this one, uh, okay, 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 okay. I don't know. I mean, that does look gorgeous. I mean, of course I'm gonna use this again, okay, obviously. But I really just wanna make these two shades, just boom, that's what I'm hoping for. So let's start off with Calico California. I'm gonna put that towards the latter half and then I'm gonna put Gold Rush towards the front half. And something else I'm gonna do this weekend is really vacuum out this room because I did a Stitch Fix friend mail video. And as I was holding things up, like my clothes, there was cat hair flying all around in here. <laughs> like that is so gross. But you know, the kitty kitties like to sleep in here when mommy's at work. So, uh, you know. And also Andy used a sponge tip applicator to put on her shimmers. And uh, I have some somewhere in here, but I can't remember where the hell I put them. So just gonna stick with the brush today. And I probably will go over it with my finger too. That, that really seemed to help uh, when I was applying the, ooh yeah, that is gorgeous. See like, even though it's got that smushy, mushy uh, formula, I feel like this shade uh, applies more like the traditional shimmer formula from Nomad that I'm used to. I just pulled a cat hair off my ring. I mean, come on, man. It's just really cute because when I get home from work, um, I always have to greet my kitty kitties because, you know, they're like my children now, that my children are no longer living here. And one of them usually is asleep on that bed behind me when I get home, usually Bitsy. And just making a whole uh, spectacle of herself. You know, my cats sleep very decadently. You know, they're all like this and spread out and <laughs> just hilarious how they sleep. Oh, I love them. So funny. And, you know, I can't rob them of that experience during the day. I mean, there's other places that they can sleep in this house, not in here. But I don't know. They're just my babies. So now I'm going to go into Gold Rush and put that towards the front. And yeah, this is still that kind of smushy formula. I think they're all, all the shimmers in here are like that, right? I haven't used all the shimmers yet, but so far that's what I'm experiencing. They're all that kind of smushy, mushy, gushy texture. Oh yeah. Okay, so you know, this look, so funny how I say all this stuff. And then this look has been, I feel like a lot easier and uh, the shimmers look better than they have in the other two looks. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. You guys can tell me what you think. I don't know. But yeah, these are applying so much better and no no textury weird stuff going on. Doesn't look creasy or anything. Yes. So, you know, I think it's the primer. Either that or this palette's just trying to make me look like a jackass. Uh, I don't know that I see a huge difference in tone between these two shades on the lid, but this one definitely looks deeper in the pan. Um, but yeah, no, I think they look great together. So I'm gonna go back into Deadwood and just kind of buff out that edge that I always have when I put my shimmers on. Gonna take that down a little bit. Uh, I would love to know if you have this palette uh, what is your favorite color combo that you've put together so far in your looks? Because, uh, you know, like, obviously when I look at this palette, I see that it would be really easy to make looks, and Andy did this. Uh, she did these three, or these six shades together, these six and these six, or, you know, shades from the, and that was awesome. And I thought about doing that, and now I kind of wish I had, because, you know, that, that to me makes the most sense with this palette is to do your looks like that. I mean, you can do whatever you want, obviously, like I'm doing whatever I want, but <clears throat> I don't know. I just think maybe that would have been more fun to do it that way, but I don't know. I do like mixing it up a little bit. Okay. So I think I'm done. 
Uh, this I might need to blend a little bit more, but I, and then of course I have some fallout. So I'm going to go clean this up. Of course, you know the drill. Other eye face hair, I will be back. So this is the finished third and final look with the Ghost Town USA Nomad Cosmetics palette for this video. And I really do like this look. And I think out of all three that I put together for this video, this look is my favorite. I just love the shimmers that I used for this look today. And I'm going to show you the palette again, of course, give you my final thoughts, feelings, impressions. But let me show you just a few things I put on my face today for my finished look. On my lips, I used a product from Beauty Moon Cosmetics. Uh, the brand owner actually threw this in with my order, which was very kind of her. And I love this. This is a uh, lip icon it's like a liquid lipstick lip stain in the shade m10 and i just really like how it feels on the lips it's very soft it's not really noticeable uh, like feeling wise and i think the shade is just gorgeous uh, for my upper lid liner i did use the wet n wild breakup proof waterproof liquid eyeliner in black i love this product it's super cheap and it works great and then for my lower water lines i used the ColourPop cream gel liner in the shade wildcat i just thought this shade would look nice with the shimmers on my lids today Today. Love it. And then for my mascara, I did use the Item Makeup Lash Snack Mascara that Jen from Jen Beauty sent to me. I'm using this a ton and I love it. And then for my highlighter and also for my inner corner shade, I grabbed one out of the Beauty Moon Cosmetics Enchantment Palette. I used this beautiful shade, if I can open it, this beautiful shade right here. It's kind of like a orangey gold. There's some pink in there. Just thought it would look really nice on my inner corners and on my face. And I just am really loving this. I need to use all the shades in here. So now to recap the palette, Ghost Town USA Nomad Cosmetics. I, I will say that uh, the shimmer, this shimmer here is getting a little creasy in here and in here on my lids. And I, I know that obviously this formula is different than what Nomad's put out in the past. And it's very new to me, obviously. Uh, and I, I do have other shimmers like this in my collection that I, I mean, I like them, but they're just not, this is just not my favorite shimmer formula I've ever used. And I do know that, yes, I obviously I did use a different primer today. Maybe I should even use a different primer, but I'm just not that person. You know what I mean? I'm not going to grab three different kinds of primers to put on my eyelids to make an eyeshadow palette work better than it would if I'd done that. <laughs> that made no sense. But I, I just, I just, I don't know. I just don't feel like I should have to do that. I think this color story is absolutely gorgeous. I love the mattes. The mattes really are what uh, I enjoyed the most out of this palette when creating these three looks. They are pigmented, they're blendable, they're lovely. They basically just kind of blend themselves and very easy to put together. Everything went really well together, I felt like. Uh, I don't I don't hate the shimmer formula, okay? I don't hate it. I do think that my looks came together nicely and I think they look really pretty. And I do think that these two shimmers look great on my lids today. I do, but I can already see that there's some issues happening. So I don't know. I, I know I could have used like a sponge tip applicator. Um, I didn't use my fingers for this look today. That seemed to work better in what my second look. Did I do that in my first look too? That really seems to work better. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I, there's other things I can try or just stick to doing certain things with this palette, but, um, I, I don't know. I, I don't know that, uh, I, I necessarily needed to have this in my collection. I don't need to have any eyeshadow palette in my collection, but yeah, I'm, I'm feeling some kind of way about this palette. I do like it. I, like I said, I love the mattes and I, I do think that my looks came together beautifully. And I, I do think that I've seen so many other looks be created with this palette that I just love. And that's one of the main reasons why I got it. Like after seeing Shawnee and Jan, I'm like, <gasps> and I loved Andy's looks. Um, I don't know. I just am, am struggling with the shimmer formula. That's all I can say. And I, like I said, I know there's other things I can try, but I, you know, I don't want to have to have like a circus act. <laughs> That's a little bit too dramatic uh, to put my eyeshadows on. I just want to be able to sit down, do what I normally would do with the palette put my looks together and then, you know, go on with my life. I, I don't know. I'd love to know what you guys think of this palette. If you have it, what do you think of the shimmer formula? Uh, maybe give me some tips and tricks about what you use to put your shimmers on and maybe it works better for you than it has for me. I will try to broaden my horizons and, you know, do some other things that might be more successful. I just, I'm just kind of a creature of habit. That's kind of the problem. Uh, and just, you know, let, let me know, like I said, I think I said this, what, what favorite combination of shades 
are, are yours out of this palette. So maybe I can give that a try too. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your lives to sit down and watch this video. If you're new here and you enjoyed what you saw, please consider subscribing, smash the like button, and of course, comment down below in the comment section. I love to chat with you guys there. And if you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. I cannot wait to see you guys again on my next video. But in the meantime, please take very good care of yourself. Be well, safe, happy. I will see you soon. Bye. Drop it.